Hello everyone, welcome back to Tim with Tomes and Tales. I'm Tim, author of the short story Haunting and the hard-boiled detective novel Baltimore City. Today, I'm reviewing the first of the Anita Blake Vampire Hunter series, Guilty Pleasures by Laurel K. Hamilton. Vampires, werewolves, and other supernatural creatures have been granted the legal right to live among humans. They're just not allowed to murder humans. But that can be easier said than done for beings that have lived for hundreds of years. In this new reality, experts are needed when dealing with supernatural forces. Anita Blake is one such expert. She works as an animator, raising the dead for the emotional closure of the living. But she also aids the police with supernatural crimes. And if the law says the world would be better off without a certain vampire, they give that contract to Anita. To the vampires and their brethren, Anita Blake is known as the Executioner. Recently, there have been a string of vampire murders, and a couple of master vampires coerce Anita into attempting to solve them for it. However, the killer she's hired to track down might not be as dangerous as those that hired her. Up front, I want to say Hamilton threw a lot at me in the first third of the book, getting me up to speed, so to speak. It isn't really exposition. She creates scenes to give the information to the reader, but these scenes pass by at a breakneck pace, not allowing me to fully digest and immerse myself into them. One of these scenes was clearly being used as a plot convenience for later on in the book, with others feeling a tad out of place or just early. Once I got past these early chapters, though, I found a decent detective story going on. Every character was interesting, some were even intriguing, others were underused. And I started to think that the author may have used too many of them. Some characters, while interesting, may have been more suited for a different story. Hamilton had hinted at enough backstory between several characters that she could have probably written a prequel novel. The world building and characters are above average in my opinion, and I am significantly intrigued enough to see where the author takes them in the future. As for Guilty Pleasures itself, I enjoyed it and could see myself reading it again. It's not a must read, but if you're looking for an adult urban fantasy, this is one I think you might like. Thank you for joining me on my review. Please hit like and subscribe if you want to help out the channel, or maybe check out my own work like Haunting or Baltimore City. They can be found on Amazon. Stay safe everyone, and happy reading.